I want to pull on the thread, and this is the general idea that the majority of people out there only read the headlines and they make their decision based on the fact that they've been hit over the head multiple times by the same form of propaganda. They don't really dive into the story. So let's take a look at that and see the lawfare that they're waging against Donald Trump. Of course, you have various reasons for it. You keep him off the campaign trail. This is a form of election interference. You're draining him of his resources. You are agitating supporters in hopes, maybe, that they will go out and create a violent act, proceed and engage in such. This would not be beneficial to Donald Trump. You keep him mainly, and this is the point that I'm pulling on, in the headlines, and you are able to run salacious propaganda against the Donald. That is read by the women sitting at home and making him, them assume that Trump is this horrible monster because you are able to run the fact that David Pecker, the owner of, I believe, the National Enquirer, was able to acquire stories in a catch and kill, signing individuals to an exclusive agreement where they're not able to sell their story somewhere else and thus squash them. And the courts are claiming that this is election interference, trying to make yourself look good, trying to prevent people from going out there and saying what may be true, may not be true, negative things about you. Is election interference, this is what they're claiming. But the point here is that they're able to keep Trump in the headlines using all the negativity that the MSNBC and the rest of them are able to generate and to throw at Donald, thus infecting the minds of the citizens who don't dive deep into politics. They only know that Trump is on trial, that he has 91 felony counts against him. This is propaganda that they are running to change the American mind in their favor and turn the t rising tides that Trump has, like the economy, like war, like the unrest going on in the United States. And this is one of the main reasons that they are doing it, because they are using taxpayer dollars to fund the lawfare that they believe will enable them to remain with the reins of power for another four years with the goal to propagandize America to vote for them by denigrating their opponent using taxpayer funds. It's disgusting. It's wrong. We all know it. But this is the reality that we face, and it's up to us to educate our fellow Americans as to what is going on and the brainwashing operation that they are using to hold on to the reins of power. Peace.